survived, Batman. Well done. Oh my fucking god, shut the fuck up. You always say that, you bitch. Stop. Stop. Alrighty. Hello everyone. Welcome back. It's an episode of Batman Arkham Knight. So the game is close to be over. Three, two, one. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is so fun. Dexter, why are you so bad? Can you load, please? Thank you. Alright. So. I'm not sure what we're gonna do today, personally. I feel like... This... What? Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, I feel like today we're gonna do the perfect crime. Investigate posed mutilated body. Yep. Because I need to complete this quest to be able to complete the Riddler's Revenge. So yeah, let's do that. I'm going to investigate the body I found overlooking Divinity Churchyard. There's a killer at large. He must be stopped. Indeed. Not a perfect night to be a killer, really. To be a just normal peasant killer. So maybe this one won't be. Alright. Yep. Alfred, I found a yep. mutilated body, but this isn't the one Cash told me about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Alrighty. Damn, so scientific about this. Yeah, he's a lot faster with analyzing Blood stuff. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinct. Why don't you do it? Why are you doing it to identity? Right you are, sir. All right, let's do that. Deep tissue scanner. All right. Hey, what's that? Skin. Okay. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. Right. All right. Mu uh, muscle. Muscle. Ooh. Interesting. The position of this scar indicates the victim. That's a scar. To remove one of their kidneys. That is not a scar. That's a kidney, straight up. All right, bones. Ah, uh, nope. Nothing. Yep. Ace. A plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result of a boxing accident. The hmm. victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. Got her. Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. Hmm. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Hmm. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. Yep, because it is. Alright, oh my god, there's so many buddies. Well then, I guess that's where we're doing all this video. Someone killed, mutilated, and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. And it's good that I actually don't have to go on YouTube, uh, not on YouTube, but for Google. <laughs> To find the fucking body's locations. I'm really happy for that. Hopefully, I will have them all already there. And it won't be like, now you have to find all of them because why the fuck not? I'll be like, well, now, bitch. No. Please, no. <laughs> I'll be like, nope. You gotta do it. You gotta do it, you bitch. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears 
Yes, Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. Surprise. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Nothing on the skin level? Really? Actually nothing. Alright, let's get some muscle. Is that a ring? A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads Ophelia. Well then. Oh, it's a bone. Surprise! <laughs> We're scanning the bone level, it's a bone. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alrighty. Ah, there it is. Skin. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis. A birth defect. Alfred. Wow, well then, that's a cool scan you were doing. Hospital record show he suffered with <laughs> alcoholism. Most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. Yep. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. Probably is, but we definitely have to find like four other ones. God damn it. The killer is mutilating and posing his victims and then putting them on display. Uh. Motherfucker. Give me a second, everyone. <laughs> Alrighty, so the first currency is 20 and 24. I think we already this, did this one, I'm not sure. 20 and 24, how about something? Well then, that's, that's in the air challenge, but sure. I Come on, where is this? Alfred, Found it. Added third victim to the list. <laughs> this is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. Mm -hmm. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. Yeah, I'm like this one. Identify the body. A really, really fucking long one, 60 hour one. Alright. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. Oh. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Damn. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Yeah. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. How does he have so many fucking Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Acargo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the body suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. 28, 24. Might have done that one. I'm not sure which one we already did. 28, 24. Yeah, I think we did this yes, one already. I think we did it. I'm not sure. There is somewhere. Around here, maybe. Yay. Alfred, I'm perfect. I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. Well then. That's heartless, Alfred. Hey. That was fast. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark. Quite distinctive. What? Where is the... what? Where is the muscle? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh. Small one. Is it a bullet? a bullet lodged deep yep. in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. Yeah. The left foot is missing several toes. 
The site well of amputation then. suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Oh. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many hmm. believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. Alrighty. Nice. Right, next location is 30 and 18. Ah, come on, I don't need to level up now. <laughs> 30 and 18. Wait, 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 wait. 13 and 18. There you go, something like that. So which one did we already do? I'm really confused. I think, I think it might have been this one. We'll see. Oh, whoops. The minute, sorry, mate. <laughs> it happens, you know, sometimes you just glide in the world. And then you just accidentally fucking stumble into, uh, and break some bones on a guy. Where are you, buddy? Alfred, I found Here a you are. victim. I feared you would, sir. I've seen that pattern of scar there tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. Damn. The sharks. The is fitted with an oh, there has been a shark in Arkham City. A specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Mm. Oh, I'll well, hear. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, Ooh. the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, Poor she had fucking quite victims. a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age Broken. nine, foster homes, yeah. drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Do the details of the God disappearance damn. match with the others? They do indeed, sir. Also, your request to cross-reference the parks and playing fields has proved fruitful. I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can, Alfred. We couldn't have done anything to prevent these deaths, but we can still save others. Alrighty, nice. Alright, let's see. So the next one is 2320. That, oh my god, with leveling up, come on. 23 and 20. Let's see, 23 and 20. Alrighty. Alright, I think this one we might have done. Come on. Yep, this one was already done. Alright. 19 and 15 then. 19 and 15. There you go, somewhere here. Yep, nope, that's not. Well then. Oh god. Use it to beat them to death. Oh god. That's that's rough. Those characters, just like every character from the DC universe are just so good. So god darn good. Alright, where are you, buddy? Buddy, where are you? There it is. Alfred, I've discovered another body. Six victims, Master. When will this nightmare end? Hopefully this is the last one. Is it? Yep. Whoa. Wait. What? There's another one. The posed body I found on display by the disused dog. Another one. Like critical clues Fuck to me. the killer's identity. <laughs> I'm heading there. To no, this the is the wrong button. That particular type of bleaching to the pigment's hand of the skin denotes a chemical burn, most likely a chlorine-based substance. By the way, I'm not looking at walkthrough on this, besides like the coordinates, I'm literally just finding them incredibly fast. There you go. The victim suffered a rare Surprised myself. Causing them to have six fingers on one hand. 
Well then, Alfred, that's the victim's yeah. name is Allison Weirs. Hmm. She was an engineer employed at Ace Chemicals. That would certainly explain some of her ailments. She moved into a retirement home in Bloodhaven several years ago. Their grounds are adjacent to a large park. Cross-reference this with the others. See if it fits. It does indeed, sir. Sending you the information now. The Circus of Strange. Its route recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing. Get me a list of associated names. The Circus is run by a rather suspicious fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any hmm. properties owned or leased by the suspect. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham. But the lease expired shortly before construction began on Wayne International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. Alright, so it is the last one. Alrighty, let's do this. Alrighty, finally. We can end all of this. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm so excited. <laughs> Pretty dull spoiler. Let's do this. This is one of the most creepiest, by the way. Uh, side quests and stories just in Batman games. But you could sing it. Nope. Can I jump from the window? I have to go around, listen to this, and watch him break his bones. Even though that's my work, that's my job. Oh god. Just everywhere. Christ. You're done here, Valentine. Let them go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Pig, not ready yet. <laughs> She's all unique and wrong. All messed up. Inside out. Pig make her better. Pig make <laughs> all of us better. It's over. But Pig can fix you to make you perfect like the others. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> and what are you? I'm I pretty much assume you. Bad. 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 Pig is like clay. Pig is like a god. God. <laughs> Pig is here to fix us all. I fucking love his character. His voice is fucking amazing. <laughs> That's it, my darling. Show him how perfect you are. Damn. Yeah, you'd think that would put him down. Right? Hmm. So those are hostiles. It's like they're immune to yep. pain. I need to make sure they stay down. Yep, so I guess I need to break my bones. Yep. Oh, yeah, this one will stay down. Yeah, that he definitely loves you, doesn't it? <laughs> so weird, but this is like fucking dope as shit. There you go. Well, that's will that actually put him down? Not sure if that will put him down or not. Yep, that did indeed put him down. Um. <laughs> Cock. 
god. Alright. What the? What the fuck? I forgot that he can do that. Christ. Damn, that's, that's a cool mechanic. Alright. Stop punching me, you fuck. Remember the fucking cleavers. Ow. Fuck. Come on, come in. I wanna knock you into this thing. Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't know you would do that. How did I put him down? Maybe. Oh god, okay, that didn't work. Christ. Alright, come closer. Come closer. Come closer, mate. There you go. That's what I wanted. Yeah. What the fuck did I do with him? There you go. Oh. 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 Oh, ho, ho. oh he is down. The other victims. He is so fucking down. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. That was cool. Yay. Alright, I'll pick him up. Thank you for rendering. <laughs> Batmobile. He is so loud. He's an actual program from that. Like, he should not be able to move at all. Oh my god, he's disgusting. Where are you taking me? Take no back to his suck. I'm taking you where you won't be able to hurt anyone else. I'll make sure of it. He doesn't hurt. He heals. He fixes. Yeah, in some way. My dollatrons those people are living a fate worse than death. Not death. Pig makes life worth living. And the ones you murdered, <laughs> too broken for pig to make them. Too imperfect. <laughs> they make mother angry. Make pig feel sick. Those things you couldn't change. <laughs> it's how I identified the bodies. It's how I caught you. It's why you yeah. No. Tell him. Not yeah, tell him how you did it so next time he knows it better. That's a good idea. Alrighty. Shut up, pig. Oh, it's also with a Y. It's not with an I. It's pretty, pretty funny. You see, it's funny. I guess, I don't know. Out you go, Valentine. Don't, don't Look what's his frame. <laughs> Who's the mother? That's what I'm curious about. Pig. Not good enough. Oh, never good enough. So close. Until you stop me. I can do better. <laughs> so much better. It could have been so perfect. <laughs> now old it's pig the face best. here. Pig <laughs> total you lunatic. Uh, yeah. Far too good for this place. Pig. Don't worry. You'll be the first one I let out. I knew oh my god. <laughs> Shut up. You should have stayed away tonight, Dent. How many times have we done this, Batman? You put us yep. behind bars only for us to escape. Your life is meaningless. A charade! Not meaningless. Satisfying. Satisfaction. Short-lived. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. 
Because the next time we meet, you die. Mm, I guess maybe oh, probably not. Let's be real here. Just bring out the best in everyone. Your enemies, your friends, even your bestest <laughs> frenemies like Harv here. He's at least halfway interesting these days, and it's all thanks to you. You're welcome, joke, sir. What do you say we flip a coin? Heads, we walk free. This place suits you, Cobblepot. Oh, you look tired, mate. Taking it out of you, putting me in here. I can tell. <laughs> Only so much the human body can take before it gives up. <laughs> Seeing you behind bars uh, keeps me going. I oh, want that it. smug look off your face. Just you wait. Mm. And to I'm think fine, this I'm guy like, was my nemesis back in Arkham City. Oh, don't look at me like that, Bats. I do have a life outside you. I used to, anyway. <laughs> I hope whatever they somewhere. paid you was worth it, Slade. The chance to fight you is always worth it, Batman. I'm not really a fight. You should be. When a man earns my respect, that means I do not rest. I devote all of my energy, everything I have. You're killing him! So at what <laughs> point this. does world's greatest assassin become false advertising? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty goddamn fast. You made it. When I was airlifted off my ship, I expected to be rescued, not killed, cuffed and thrown in jail. You're even more deluded than I thought, Stag. You would know, Batman. My soul you need would know. Preacher, man. I sold it a long time ago. Shut up, Simon. Sooner or later, like this jokes? deluded maniac is going to have to accept that money doesn't give him the right to do whatever he wants. Isn't he, Stag? This is not <laughs> <laughs> We're the law love me. Here. Man's law is not equipped How are you to holding deal up? with Gotham's injustices. I'll live. Funny. I always hoped I'd get to meet you one day. Never thought it'd be like this. I hear that eh. a lot. Are well, you fucked those up? Closest to me. Whatever happens, I deserve it. Mm. He's a good man. Breaking the law for a noble cause? He's nowhere near rich enough to get away with that. <laughs> You're gonna be in here for a long time, Blackfire. Child, these bars cannot hold me. When the time comes, God will dissolve them like the hot wax of a candle. And I will be free. Oh, I'd well, keep yeah. praying if I were you. Oh, I will. I'll pray for everyone. For all Gotham's lost children, especially you, Batman. I'll do one special just for you. Fuck you. You gotta hand it to Deacon Blackbeard. Anything that gets the homeless working should be encouraged. <laughs> I totally agree with you, Jokes. Anyway, I think that's all the criminals we can talk with now for now. For now. Yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Arthur. Oh my Heh, <laughs> you get it, pig friends. Heh. <laughs> right, anyway. Well, actually, it's because cops are kind of pigs, and I right, I get it. But yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Arthur. Next time we'll be back, I will do some Riddler stuff. Once and for all, we'll finish this up. But I will also maybe do this, which I'm actually. Should I do it now? Should I? Nah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. We'll do it later. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching. My name is Arthur, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.